Here are three scenarios you may have experienced or seen before but were slightly bemused to give it any further thought. Join us as we unravel some dining styles through the eyes of those who've walked the line between the East and the West. What are you doing? Eating my lovely rice? In many Western cultures, the knife and fork are the standard cutlery, and eating with a spoon is not common. In many parts of Asia, a fork and spoon are the preferred cutlery. When it comes to eating rice, especially if it's loose or not sticky, using a knife might not be very efficient. It's more suited for meals where cutting is required. What are you doing? You scared not enough to eat, is it? Piling food on a plate is often seen as efficient. It allows diners to gather everything they want to eat in one go, minimizing the effort to reach for more food. However, taking small amounts encourages diners to take only what they can eat, promoting mindfulness and moderation. While piling on food emphasizes efficiency and individual preference, potentially it could result in overconsumption and waste. Are you sure they'll be clean? Well, how do you do it? Filling the bowl with water has soaking benefits in that stubborn food remnants can be soaked off more easily, reducing the need for vigorous scrubbing. Applying detergent directly to a sponge and then rinsing under running water ensures that each item is cleaned with fresh, clean water, potentially reducing the risk of cross-contamination. Thank you for joining us on this voyage across cultures. For more stories of exploration and understanding, subscribe to our channel and share your own experience of culture shock in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring!